hi guys welcome back to my channel i am Puseleto and today we're talking about being a mom so let me read these quotes for you i got these really funny quotes and this one says back when i used to observe kids acting up in public i saw my kids would never behave that way then i became a parent i definitely saw my kids would not be like my brothers or you know go crazy in public but yeah here i am now dealing with the most the second one says having a two-year-old is like having a blender that you don't have the top for imagine that right those are your kids they'll spill all over you they'll do things they'll go crazy they'll run wild all over you and you can't control them basically and this one says terrible twos should come with a complimentary bottle of wine so I'm gonna give you some tips because we can't control our kids I'm thinking there's things we can do for ourselves that can help us just remain calm as moms so it's not a for sure thing but you can basically try it out stick around so do something for yourself every day so like um, maybe if you like tea make sure you make that time for yourself in the morning before you start with them to just drink some tea and enjoy a cup of coffee whatever it is that you like or maybe you like reading every day just make time for yourself to read if you just do a little something for yourself and your day is not just focused on them 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 then it can feel a little bit better create some kind of routine creating a routine can help you so i'm not big on routines but definitely in the mornings i have to have a routine because if i just go with the flow then i'm not going to finish getting them ready on time especially the three-year-old so i have to make sure that firstly i try to wake up before them not like hours before them but i wake up first then i know that whatever i'm going to do is going to be sort of controlled by me because if they wake up first then i know three-year-old is going to want to watch tv and he's going to dictate to me he wants to eat he wants this he wants that and then i have to run after him can't get him dressed we have to fight to brush the, his teeth all those kinds of things but if i wake up first then i know i'm going to get his baby brother ready first and then I'm gonna to get to him, wake him up, and he's still a bit sleepy, so I can sort of just put him in the bath quickly, get him dressed, and get everything done on time. So you'll find, obviously, depending on your day and how your life is set out, a routine for a certain time of day for you. Another thing I'd say is, don't compare yourself to other moms, especially the moms that you see on Instagram or Facebook, because a lot of times we post the pretty cute pictures and we don't post the messy house so you might just see this part of the house but you don't see what's on the other part of the house the mess you don't see the the time when we're changing nappies and the poop is going all the way up to the neck and all those things so try not to compare yourself to other moms trust that it's not going to be like that forever so keep saying to yourself well i say to myself as i count i literally do count in my head like you know calm down but I also trust that he's not going to be the way that he is forever. Not even for four or five years. I know that it's going to fade away. Because I thought he was bad at two, you know. But he got to three and he was just another level of crazy. So just trust. I know. I know for sure. I know. I just know that he's going to get better. And the last one I'd say is don't try too hard to change them. Don't try and be like... Why are you so naughty? Why are you so slow? That's another thing I had with my nine year old. In the mornings, when she's getting ready, oh, girl will take her sweet time. And I'm just like, hurry up, you know, and I get a little bit irritated and agitated and impatient. And I just thought, you know what? Um, don't try too hard to change her. Instead, let's rather wake up earlier in the morning. And even with my son, don't try to change him. Maybe he is a little bit more social than you are or out there hyper. It, it, it's okay. He doesn't have to be calm like me or the way that I am. So I just have to not try and change him too much, but rather change my perspective of who he, who he is or how he is his personality type. And that's about it. But overall, honestly, I feel you. I know it's kind of tough. It's not that easy. I've also seen things, hair being pulled, earrings, a lot of kinds of things. My phone right now is a total mess. I don't know if you can see this. And there's other things that I could probably share with you. But, you know, it's okay. It will pass. 
I trust in that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you have a child that's driving you insane and what it is that you're doing uh, to help you get through that phase. Love you all so much.